Foreign sailors from Latin America, the Philippines, and the Slavic countries, including Russia, often spend 10 months a year or more away from their families. For many Central Americans, work as a sailor on a cargo ship offers much better pay than any land job in the depressed economies of Latin America. Deacon Clay Waddell of Bethesda by the Sea has devoted his ministry to these seamen. Sailors work every day for many hours, so Deacon Waddell and the other chaplains often can only be with the sailors in the late evening hours. During the day, Reverend Waddell teaches school, after which he is a devoted father to his family, helping with homework and spending time with them before heading out to the port, usually after 9 p.m., several nights a week. Tonight, he is visiting the Monarch Empress, which has mostly Spanish-speaking Central American officers and crew. They are anxious for his visit because the ship is expected to head out into rough waters within the next 24 hours, which could put them in harm's way. This storm map shows a possible tropical storm and and conditions which could intersect with the ship very soon after it leaves port. The crew has made a special request for a prayer of protection from the storm. Members of Bethesda by the Sea have donated magazines and made wooden anchor crosses which Reverend Rodell gives to the crew. You will hear a constant roar of machinery from generators and forklifts which never stops at the Port of Palm Beach. The deacon holds an abbreviated mass and discusses the story of Jesus and the ten lepers in his homily. His Spanish has an American accent, but still gets the message of God's love across the sailors, who very much appreciate his pastoral services. There is no altar, so a low wooden stool must act as the table for preparing the Eucharist.